Hello everybody, Ministrum here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we're continuing our current war. And we are trying to grind down the defenses on the Mythbell Kingdom's planets uh, before sending in the troops to occupy them. Uh, to drive them to the point where they will be willing to capitulate. Uh, we are also exploring some star systems that the... A uh, feral trading coalition never got around to actually colonizing or taking control of, especially down in here, which is strange, but hey, it's what it is, I guess. Um, if they don't want them, I'll take them. And uh, yeah, they claim to one of their black holes, so we should gain control of the Gathry Maelstrom when the war is over. which we can use for more matter decompressors. Um, and speaking of matter decompressors, the first stage of our matter decompressor in the Xantaris black hole is done. We're working on the next stage of it. We've got 747 days until it's done. Um, and also we'll be keeping an eye on our various other mega structures that... Um, are working on so let's go ahead and uh get to it and let's get in here and start taking stock Of where we are at as far as these armies, not quite there. Second fleet. Almost there. Almost low enough that I'm willing to land troops there. Uh, third fleet. We got a ways to go yet. Fourth fleet, a ways to go yet. Fifth fleet, almost there. Sixth fleet, almost there. Seventh, a ways to go. Eighth fleet. I think we just started here, so yeah, it's, it's got some some ways to go. And the ninth fleet, we have Wutar, almost there. That's probably the closest. Do we have troops? We do have troops. So let's get them. Let's get them over here. Probably could go ahead and land there, but I'm gonna wait till. A uh, few more of those armies are dealt with from orbit before we we, uh, we land. Alright, this should be updated. Minus 515. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Alright, advanced habitat. I don't think we're ever going to be using that. Unlocks upgrade habitat world. Mega structure build speed. <laughs> Alright. Ignore everything for mega structure build speed. Alright, we're finishing uh primordial pylon. Uh, let's get another one going. Eventually we'll get them all. The Lothspot Combine has sent a fleet through the Themistocles wormhole to the Themistocles system. Interesting. 
That must mean that your natural wormhole right there. Behemoth planet craft movement systems are complete. Must lead in that direction. Hmm. Maybe we might need to absorb the Lozavada Combine here sooner rather than later. All right. So now we just need to get the weaponry, which is going to require 80,000 alloys. We have 44,000 alloys, and I could probably buy in a bunch. Uh, nowhere. I could do automatic trades, monthly trades. Max buy price. Uh, I wouldn't want to do more than what we make. Nah, I'll do that. It's it's going to be such an insignificant drop in the bucket that it's not really worth it. Bobby Ringworld. The pious Bobby Conclave has accomplished what only a handful of civilizations in the history of our galaxy had managed before. We're one of them. They finished construction of the colossal Ringworld they were building around the primary star of the Nihal system. That's interesting. Well, good for them. All right, let's take a look at that ninth fleet. Let's see if they're ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's like the full combat with. So I think we're still gonna wait for a couple of more. There. Yeah, that one's close to... That's the fifth fleet. All right. Let's bring this army over here because we're going to be ready to land there soon. Ah. Scientist revealed as a psychic. Scientist Vimus Fen is getting the psychic trait. All right. Okay, so we need to select a new, a new tradition tree. I like the idea of faith. Stability is increased, unity outputs increased, edict capacity is increased. That's not really that important, but um, army morale increased by 25% and ship weapons damage is increased by 5%. That's nice. Um, priests produce one additional unit, run additional unity and consume one less consumer goods. Uh, adoption, uh, happiness of all pops is increased by 5%. That's nice. Adopting all traditions, you may select an ethic under which, which the ethics attraction is increased by 50%. Yes, I think we're going to adopt faith. I think it makes sense for our empire. Probably actually should have done it sooner, but hey. Um...
There we go. I'm gonna go after that army morale and ship weapons damage, probably first. These systems are kind of the important ones we really need. The ones that are being claimed. That behemoth planet craft was in the Rego system, right? Yes. Scientific breakthrough achieved. System survey complete. All right. Grabbed that system. All right, so let's go ahead and send you over here to get that mining station built and that research station built. Guarantee revoked. The next sentience was being is having their stuff revoked. That's these guys. Those guys. A quick check on the Kelbrid Index. Still in that war. War exhaustion is moving very slow. I don't think they're actually doing anything. All right, well, that's fine. Foreign Empire has claimed our system. The Fuel Trading Coalition has audaciously laid claim to the McDonald system. Really? Well, you're gonna be part of my empire soon, so it doesn't matter. All right, I think we're ready to go ahead and land here. Go ahead and land there. I think it was the fifth fleet. It was the other the one that was close. Yeah, let's go ahead and land our armies. Go for it. Battle is joined. I don't know what that was. Two Corvettes. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Oh, one of our allies is landing on the Kanjukla system. Or Kanjukla Planet. Who's down here? The Ixidar. Hey, go for it. More power to you. Can 
Right, let's take a look at that. Initiating ground assault. Incoming transmission from the Vengralian Trium. Please buy something, anything, just please. Uh, show us what you've got. We offer you Trium brand junk beds. Or bunk beds. These innovative, space efficient, stackable sleep receptacles increase the habitation potential of planetary housing, allowing you to squeeze in more capita per square meter. All this for the low, low price of one science ship, excluding the crew. We don't need them, no. One time delivery to a single colony only. Bunk beds are guaranteed to last 80 years and no longer. Increasing housing by test 10% for the duration. Carefully considered distribution of bunk beds not included. Use of bunk beds is correlated with a drastic increase in mild injuries caused by falling out of bed. May cause privacy concerns. May increase societal vulnerabilities to seasonal contagions and or pandemics. Um... No, no, thank you. We have we have no need for bunk beds. That was random. I'm not entirely sure they're going to succeed. They have far too many disengaged. We'll see. And the primal, primordial pylon's been restored. And they do have more reserves than these guys, but... They're dropping like flies. Would move my own troops there, but we're busy. My troops are busy. Our warriors are victorious. Excellent. All right, that fleet. Where could you potentially go? Over here? I think so. Oh, that's right. That's the silly colonized star. That's... That's weird. I don't think there are any other colonized systems. And it is... Is giving me some grief here. Just trying to move around. I have an idea where I would like the Ninth Fleet to go. Come on. Come on. This is just... I want to move over this way. All right, fine. Just deselect it. Good lord. Ninth fleet. I would like you to head over here and deal with this ether drake. Or at least get over here anyway. Start making your way there. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot. There is another planet in this system. We need to deal with that one first. Okay. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. Excellent. And you lost 
three clone armies. Oof. Okay. Um. We can. We can replace those. That's not a problem. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Uh, let's see. Leader lifespan, edict duration, we might as well. Alright. Earth, where are you? There you are. Give me some clones. It does look like they are going to fail. But it is going to give me an opportunity. So my armies, at least these armies, head over here. Let's see, if they can arrive before these before these guys are gone, we may be able to land our own troops there. They are losing their disengaged. I don't think they're going to get there in time. Now, once they lose, my fleet should begin automatically bombarding again. Ah, there is our attack moon. It's done. And I'm going to go ahead and order that attack moon. Actually, they can't, can they? No, they can't merge in. All right, it's fine. Um, just go ahead and uh, merge in over there or just head into that system so I know where you are. Now, that does free up a um, mega structure that we can work on building. You have Dominion is becoming more spiritualist. They're not going to last long enough for me to get there. Well, a good try. I just ran out of time.
Oh well, I'll go ahead and land my armies. Because they are severely depleted. Um, so we should be able to follow up. You just gave me 20% war exhaustion, guys. Thanks. Yeah, let's not let them recover. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. We may lose a few armies. Potentially. But I think we're going to win. Yeah, we're absolutely going to win. Just unfortunate we just couldn't quite get there in time to save some of their armies and prevent that battle from being a loss. Oh, well. All right, so what we're going to do with the open slot um, is we're going to get another matter decompressor going. Our science ship has been ambushed. Ah, uh, pirates. I mean, I have ion cannons here. Scientific breakthrough achieved. I'm actually not going to tell them to the retreat just yet. I mean, they should be fine because these pirates are going to die. Security strike forces are coming in. And they are going to deal with that. destroyed stuff here. Odd. They are assaulting our spaceport. And I can't like replace them, so All right. Well, that's that. Um, we did occupy. Um, their home worlds. So, there we go. Did we lose any troops? We did not actually lose any troops. That's good. Alright, that means you can fly back over here. Any other areas where we can land some troops? Nothing. 
Not yet. Yes, this one's ready. Okay. That means these troops can come over here and land there. What about over here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, should be good. Word has reached us that the theocracy of Jerv has begun construction of a vast long-range sensor array in the Ro Aurigae system. Okay, so be it. All right, first fleet is no longer busy. Okay, and I think they don't have any other sis, any other planets that we need to bomb, so the first fleet can actually start coming over here. And uh, I'm going to deal with that Ether Drake. All right, excellent. And I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end for today. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stop here. We should gain control of that planet here relatively easily. And then we'll just keep an eye on and make sure that, you know, we occupy every planet that we can as soon as they're ready for troops to land. Oh, actually, before we end, before we end, I need to grab... a construction ship. Come over here and build me... A matter decompressor site, please. Thank you. And replace those alloys. All right. Excellent. Okay. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.